Look, it might be February 12th, but you know what? Let's take a little trip, okay? Come this way, head into my family room, if you will. Okay, check it out. I've still got my damn Christmas tree up. It, plus, the lights are on, which is nice, so that all of my neighbors know just how lazy we are. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to Thugged Out Thursday, your TLG weekly commentary. Now today's topic involves a video game that I actually found on Kickstarter uh, that I'm very passionate about sharing with you guys. But before we get into that, quick shout out to our Thug of the Week, Gamertag Jose Mendoza. Now from my understanding, this guy is working 12 hours a day in order to help support his mother and five sisters. Now I can't necessarily relate to the whole five sisters thing, okay, because I've got two brothers, but I can respect this guy taking on the responsibility of being the man of the household and setting a great example for all of his siblings, so congratulations, man, you definitely deserve the shout out. Now, if you yourself want to get the thug of the week or perhaps nominate one of your friends or family members, all you have to do is send me an email to thuglifegaming at yahoo.com letting me know what makes you a thug. So now getting into today's topic, like I said, you know, periodically I will go on to kickstarter.com to see if there's any new video game concepts that are currently being developed that I might want to support. So a few days ago, I hop on there just to check it out and lo and behold, there is a video game called Battalion 1944. This is a World War II multiplayer first person shooter coming out for the PC, Xbox One, and PlayStation 4. Okay, the goal of this game is to really recapture the core of those classic World War II shooters that we've all come to love by really, you know, utilizing our modern day technology to really catapult it into the new generation of hardware. Now, I'm sure there are a lot of TLG fans out there that are thinking, you know, Matt, how badly did you absolutely freak out as soon as you saw the concept of this game? Because you've been waiting for it for quite a long time. And you would be correct, <laughs> okay? I've had a countless number of videos where I have discussed the absolute need to revive and reestablish the World War II FPS genre of video games. I don't understand why this hasn't happened sooner, but I am glad that Bulkhead Interactive, which is the development studio behind it, is uh, kind of now getting that ball rolling. So what do you say I tell you a little bit about the game itself? Battalion 1944 is currently being developed by ex AAA developers, modders, and even esports professionals, all of which, you know, really grew up playing those World War II games that we've been talking about. Uh, you know, the initial initial Call of Duty installments, the Medal of Honor series, and even, uh, you know, Brothers in Arms, which personally is my favorite franchise of the World War II genre. <laughs> Alright, but we, we won't get into that. Okay, that's a story for a separate video. Okay, that franchise is awesome, but anyway. Because these developers are so passionate about reviving this genre, um, authenticity is absolutely key. Now, I'm sure some of you are wondering, you know, how the hell are they going to pull that off? Because it's not like we can time travel back in time, Matt. Okay? The science community has not quite figured that puzzle out yet. And this is true, okay? <laughs> they can't necessarily time travel, but I will say they are doing everything that they possibly can in order to make this feel realistic and make it as authentic as possible. I mean, they are actually in the field testing out real World War II weapons, okay? Getting a feel for how heavy they are, the mechanics behind them, the sound effects that they make. They're even visiting real World War II battlefields and towns that are scattered throughout Europe in order to get a better feel for the level design that they want to have for their multiplayer maps. I mean, the amount of reference material that they have is just off the chain, okay? And on top of that, in order to make the game more visually pleasing and believable, they're utilizing Unreal Engine 4. This is gonna further enable that authentic experience that I was talking about by allowing them to incorporate some phenomenal lighting and particle effects 
as well as some very, very detailed foliage uh, scattered throughout each one of the maps to make for a beautiful setting. But speaking of the importance of level design, okay, make no mistake about it, Bulkhead Interactive is marketing this game as a competitive esports multiplayer shooter. And in order to make waves in the esports community, one thing that you have to make sure is that the gameplay is fairly balanced. Now, that is exactly what they are doing. We're talking solid map code, which is great. Asymmetric level design, which can be very controversial because it can leave one team at a disadvantage or advantage depending on where you spawn on the map. But from my understanding, because they are basing their level design off of real world locations, they are trying as hard as they can to keep that authentic setting, but also maintain fairly balanced gameplay. So I'm very interested to see if they can pull that off. But the biggest thing that I was so incredibly surprised by when looking into this game was that it is going to have dedicated servers. What? That's like a thing that indie studios can do? Why, yes, my fellow viewer. Just realize that the next time you play a AAA title at launch and it says migrating host. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. <coughs> I'm so sorry. That just... Came out of me there, Activision. I apologize. No, but in all seriousness, okay, I just, I have mad respect for an indie studio that's being funded through Kickstarter, okay, to put their reputation on the line by launching with dedicated servers. It just sends a message to the rest of the gaming industry to essentially grow some balls, okay? Don't put out a half ass game simply because you can, right? You know what I'm saying? Do what you gotta do to give the fans a user experience that we're freaking expecting, okay? That's what I love about this game. It's given us what we want. It's designed around skill-based infantry combat. Okay, they're taking it back to the classics, Call of Duty 2, Counter-Strike, Day of Defeat, where it didn't rely so much on your time played within the game. They're stripping out the unbalanced unlocks, overpowered abilities, and they're reinstating skill. Now, you might be wondering, Matt, does it really get any better than that? Yes, it does. Okay, so <laughs> they, they do want to reward you for experiencing the game. And so throughout playing it, you will unlock a large number of cosmetic items. Okay, this includes gun engraving, uh, which is very historically accurate, uh, clan insignias, and uniform customization. Now, all of these uh, just go to show some very modern gameplay features that we haven't necessarily seen in a World War II genre video game. So it's very refreshing to see that new take on it. But before I get out of here, guys, uh, I do just want to mention that I will have the link to their Kickstarter page in the description below. So I definitely recommend you check it out if you want to help fund them because there are some amazing backer rewards for those of you who do want to invest. These range anywhere from, you know, low budget items such as game keys, in-game cosmetics, uh, beta access, all the way to the high budget items, such as golden disc boxes signed by the developers, the opportunity to visit and tour their studio, and even the bundle that I personally bought, which ensures that your name will be in the game credits. I just think that's badass. You get to help essentially create and fund a video game and to be rewarded because you took part in the development your name is in the credits for it. It doesn't get much cooler than that because you get to show that off to everybody like throughout the rest of your life, <laughs> which I'm going to do. Trust me, I will be posting about it. But anyway, guys, be sure to check it out. It's Battalion 1944. Anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to comment below. Click that thumbs up button. Share the video with your friends. And if you're digging the content, then feel free to subscribe. But I'll see everybody here in a couple of days. Keep living that life. Because that is what thugs do. I'm out of here, guys. Take it easy.